<laughs> okay, let's try this one. Okay. So, um, the first, so this is phosphoric acid, mm -hmm. H3PO4, right? So let's do the first step of this reaction. Always when you have this, it's going to react with the base in there, right? The most basic thing, of course, is the water, which honestly is probably the solvent in this reaction, and probably the phosphoric acid is just a catalyst, okay? So a lot of times this may be written like this. And then sometimes they'll even say like that, cat, okay? Either way, it's doing the same thing, right? So phosphoric acid, um, H3PO4. Okay. And water, of course, is going to first perform the acid-base reaction. Like that. Okay. And um, make okay, the important thing was hydronium. is the hydronium ion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember, it's the hydronium ion that's the actual acid and the actual catalyst. In fact, okay. and then of course you're going to make the um, phosphate anion. Yeah. Like that, right? So remember, no charge on this side of the reaction, no charge on this side, okay? So the catalyst here is, um, or that acid, is going to perform essentially another acid base reaction. It looks like a weird acid base reaction because these electrons aren't like lone pair electrons, you know? But you've got a choice of where this proton is going to end up. It's going to either end up over here mm -hmm. on this side or on this side. It'll probably end up on this side yeah. here. Definitely, not just probably, it'll definitely. Because you've got a choice between a secondary carbocation and, and a tertiary, right? Which one's more stable? Of course, the tertiary is, so that's going to form more readily. So we'll draw our arrow like that. And I'll just stick that hydrogen on there just to kind of emphasize. Mm -hmm. So we'll put two hydrogens. We'll just say that, like that. Just to emphasize, okay? This lost that double bond, so we've got the carbocation there. Very good electrophile. Remember, whenever you see positive charge, hit it. You know, you want to hit it. Smell those positive charges out. So, what did we make with this? We made water, right? Because we deprotonated. Very good, Renee. You do really well. <laughs> relative, right? <laughs> it's all relative. Um, two days. So, this is not a stereocenter. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, this is a tertiary carbocation. We don't have to worry about, so, let's just write that down. Do we have to worry about hydride, methyl, any type of shifts or anything? No, it's already stable enough, right? So what are we going to do? Attack. We're going to attack. Remember, this is um, uh, a trigonal planar, right? So it can attack from the top or the bottom or the back or the front, whichever way you want to look. And if we erase, because that's not a stereocenter, so let's just erase those hydrogens because they don't really matter anymore, right? So, when we add that, is there going to be four different groups on there? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, right? So, we're going to have to have the two enantiomers. Yeah, we're going to make a stereocenter. So, like that. Three yeah, exactly. That's the way to count them. Okay, um, so you could just put whichever one you want. I'm going to put uh, just this one forward, and we'll put the water going back. Like that. Okay. Remember, water in this is the yeah. solvent. Okay. Um, so there's going to be another water molecule. 
So what we can do now, sometimes they'll even say, just to emphasize for you guys, that they'll say water in excess or something yeah. like that. And we could even already put plus ENT for an ENT, like that. And then when we do that, we get our final product, that alcohol plus, plus it's an antimer. Okay. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I think so? Yeah. Okay, cool. Go have some lunch, guys. Good job.